Hello and welcome to the Inner Gamer On. My name is Brett Yanoski. I'm Devin Dury. And I'm Austin Morales. Happy 2018, everybody. Woo! Check it out. We're here. We made it. If you're listening to this on the podcast. The U.S. Then, like, didn't burn you know, down. Yeah, the U.S. didn't burn down yet. Or freeze. Yes. I mean, it, it did kind of do both, though. Oh, it man. We burned and we froze. So I don't know about you guys, but in Texas, it doesn't get cold until, like, it this little freezing. period of time where it just, like, it goes from 70 it's constant summer. to, like, it's, 20. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a 10-month-long summer. That, like four weeks of spring, and right. then it's like a week and a half of just like miserable. You, you'd think you're living in like Alaska, but you like the cold, so that's I love it. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't. I, I long do. for these days, I usually yeah. do, but by God, it was cold. <laughs> it was so Wonderful. cold. Yeah, I walked outside, I was like, eh, nope, going back inside, not doing this. <laughs> anyway, should we do but, some house cleaning with uh. new background? New background, we painted a room. It's blue. It's blue. Hope y'all like it. Exciting. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. We like we, it. We, yeah, we like it. It's, we like it's it. cool. It's, it's, it's changed. It's new. It's fashionable. It's exciting. Very exciting. So it's 2018. We have a new year. And 2017 was like that year that is something to put on the like record books of, man, this year was so good. However, I'm worried that 2018 may be worse. A little follow-up? Potentially. <laughs> But it, 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 the difference being is we don't have a console release in 2018. That's true. We had two console I, releases God. in 2017, which is crazy. Can you imagine Three. having a console release as well? Three. What was the third one? The Switch. The Xbox Switch. One X. Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. No, that was in December of last of the year before. Fuck off. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. Okay, too. Might as well be. I got my history now. I got. I'm just <laughs> I did get my PS4 Pro in, in 2017, so that was cool. I think that's what most that was people good. got. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's an awesome console, though. I really like it. Yeah. Did you get one? No. Okay. You should get one. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, X? No. Oh. At least you got a Switch. With all, with all I got a Switch. <laughs> I'm saving for a PC. Oh, hell yeah. So that's my girlfriend. She wants to get a PC now, too. That's funny. Yeah. She's yeah. like, can you build me a PC? I'm like, yeah, just give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> give me an indiscript amount of money, and we'll make it happen. Yeah. What's your budget? You know, throw it in there. Anyway, so we got a lot of games coming out this year, yeah. and we're going to talk about them. Um, I was going to put them in a quarter breakdown, but these days, release dates aren't really a thing anymore. Release dates are arbitrary. Time is a yeah. human construct. Exactly. Yeah. So instead, they're in alphabetic order, which is also nice. So we're just going to go through this list, talk about the games and see what we're excited about and just share what they are and, you know, all that stuff. And feel free to chime in. And sure. Whatever you guys want to say at any point. We're going to start with the big one, which also happens to be an A, but uh, Anthem from Bioware. Ooh. This is their new game. It's like a Destiny-like experience, right? Not I, holding my breath. Already yeah, has me worried. I'm not either. I'm scared because, like, I mean, EA. <laughs> like how you were trying to build a, It's a big title of the year. It's the first big one with the anthem. Meh. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, it's it looks so cool when they did the thing last it was year. So pre, you know, plan the whole yeah. little thing. I also feel like I got burned really hard from like our first initial reactions to Battlefront 2's yes. marketing. Yes. And yeah. we were like, oh man, this could EA finally pull one out and make an amazing... No, they couldn't. They couldn't fucking do it. No. They I made mean, I'm still playing Battlefront 2. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, you're not. I am. I played it a couple weeks ago with Scott and a couple Joe. Of weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got. I, I mean, Christmas happened and stuff like that. True. So okay, that, true. and then yeah. And, but anyway, well, so Anthem ago. is the game, and it people are saying it might be huge. It could be. It could be bad. But I don't know because Bioware is kind of this weird position right now. Mass Effect Andromeda wasn't very good. So yeah, we'll, Mass we'll Effect's not happens. very good. Mass. No, don't say that. Don't say that. It was good up until Andromeda. Stand by my opinion. It was great. It was great. They have a lot um, to work up to. Like they do. They do. How are they going to bring the fans back? Dude, I don't, I don't think know. anyone's. Well, they're like, that, I mean, the, the the fan base is already like feeling a bit betrayed. I say a bit betrayed. Everyone's like, "What the hell was this that you gave us from Andromeda?" And there's still a lot of loyal fans who are like, "You know what? Despite those things, I still love the franchise. I still love the game, and they'll probably yeah. love this." So, I, yeah, I agree. I got fans there. Yeah. Well, next game we have is an indie game, also from EA, however. But uh, it's from the guy who's Joseph Ferris, is his name, I believe. A Way Out. This is the co-op experience, two-player co-op experience, where you buy a game and 
you can get your friend to play with you and they don't have to buy the game too. It's awesome. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks interesting. I mean, what do you, are you guys excited about this game? Oh, I mean, it's absolutely. like yeah. two guys are like, are they breaking out prison? Aren't prison they? break, yeah, man. Prison break. And they're just I like, get to play my own season of thing. prison break. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. No, you're a fan of that. I like the first season. Okay. I never saw it, yeah, but yeah, I know it was filmed here. So that's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, man. Don't get him pissed off. I know. <laughs> did you get? Did you guys see you the? Uh, well, I know, I'm, I'm sure you all did because we watched the game awards. But Joseph Ferris like going crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. He's either drunk or high or a little bit of both. It was hilarious. Dude was, was on, dude was on something. Oh, he was he Not was both. so on something. But I love his passion. Like he's so passionate. That's why I'm excited about this game because um, one, it's a co-op game, and I love that there's so many. Like that's what I'm really happy about this year is the co-op experiences that we're gonna get. Because there's a lot of good co-op games. Like we'll talk about Sea of Thieves later on. We got um, like just tons of stuff that are just mind-blowingly awesome. So yeah. pretty pumped about that. Pretty pumped. It's great, man. Next game we have is BattleTech, which I don't know a lot about this game, but I know it's like mech stuff and it looks really awesome. It's and I mech like game. mech shit. Yeah, mech shit. Yeah, there's also Mech Warrior Five coming out this year, I believe. Supposedly, they're claiming that it's going to be the coming year out. of the mech. Yeah, and then imagine if Armored Core was announced and released this year. Don't even, Damn, don't even. Son. Like literally, don't if any more games, if, like, if, Fr- know, right? if FromSoft was like, "Hey, we're making Armored Core again," I there, this table would be gone from the giant nerd erection that would just <laughs> flip it over. Yes, yes, it would. So- <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> we need the Sorry. <laughs> make, make it go that way. <laughs> hey, that's right. So I, I can am. control that. Don't throw it at me. That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry, You're bro. crazy. I don't want it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't want it either. But um, uh, Biomutant. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. So Biomutant was the one that was announced at uh, it was e- not E3. Was it E3? No, it was later. So. Paris Game Show. I think it was Game Paris Show. Game yeah, show. Paris Game Show. Um, and that was like little rodent dude. Not a rodent. What 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 kind of thing is he? He was a. Is he like a rocket from? Oh yeah yeah. He's kind of like a rocket from. Yeah, uh, it's like. Yeah, kind of like a rocket what's that raccoon? animal? Rocky raccoon. There we go. I was like, "What is that animal called?" What animal is rocket? Uh, I can't. It's almost think. as if it's alliteration and should be the same. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That's that's, that's just pretty interesting. I never realized. I no, I'm just kidding. Play out for it, actually. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it reminds me of a. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of like a Ratchet and Clank kind of feel, but I don't think it's intended to be that way. But. I mean, it's it it pl- it plays like that uh, op- sort of open world exploration kind of stuff, like you got from like Jack and Daxter two or Jack yeah. two, whatever you want to say. Um, just with this new um, kind of feel to it, a very feudal Japan feel. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it. I I love I these so kind. I love these kinds of games. Um, Do we have a story on it yet? I mean, what's yeah. About? It's a story about stuff uh, happening. Things go crazy. down. I'm so glad yeah. we could depend here. on you for this. I know, right? No, it's it's uh, a. Yeah, the trailer, from what I remember, I think it was like some. It's like a post-apocalyptic kind of scenario. But that's as much as I can tell you without we are going sounding crazy like with I'm post-apocalyptic stuff. <laughs> talking out of my ass, and I don't want to sound like that. So I'm gonna stop at that point. I'm just saying, like, I don't know any more oh, about yeah, it, yeah. so I just don't want to sound like I'm talking on my ass. So it's like, I will tell you it's post-apocalyptic or whatever, but the character is interesting, and that has me excited. So we'll see what it. Yeah, really what cool character. Like. He's got lots of cool gadgets, got, you know, yeah, fun gameplay it looks like. So yeah, it should be fun. Cool. Um, next game we have on the list is... Code Vein. Code Vein, yes. Tell me about this game. Excited about this game? I know not much about this one. Yeah. So Code Vein is a game that's oh. that's 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 supposed to be like super exciting. And uh I'm I'm I mean, I was listening to some people talk about it the other day. It's by Bandai Namco. Yes. By Bandai Namco. And is it a JRPG? Not a no. not a like a not like a full fledged JRPG. It's it's another uh Souls like that okay. people are kind of right. calling it. Very, okay. very dark souls like, just way more um, basically what they're saying is that Japanese if you're a Dark style. Souls fan yeah. and you're not getting Dark Souls this year, this is the game for you. Count me in. Yeah. So that's kind of like what the I mean, I'll be getting it. it for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think I will anyways. I want to I want to see some more on it and hopefully we get a chance to get our hands on it at PAX, but um dude, I hope so. I, I think Bandai so. Namco has a booth down there. Yeah. Yeah. They, they should have a booth. Hell yeah. Um, That'd be cool. 
but it's it's uh, I've heard people kind of equate this one to kind of like the Final Fantasy 15 kind of style of like combat, like very over the top, grand, crazy looking shit, but obviously with a Dark Souls y gameplay. Sold. I mean, <laughs> those two together, I mean, <laughs> I really like I'm in. and I like Final Fantasy's combat. Yeah. Can't say the same about the story, but it does, it does look very Final Fantasy esque, but dark, like Dark Souls, because it's dark, all that good stuff. And but Souls. I don't know. I'm going to have to give it a try. You guys get it. Tell me how it is, and I might pick it up. And see I'm not see how my it copy is. Copy bread, all right. You so if we, we, the thing is, uh, what he's waiting to hear is like, how difficult is it? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's a little difficult. Oh, I can't play it then. So a game. You go back it. to playing Flower, <laughs> or the next game, okay. Concrete Genie, where you Concrete can paint Genie. on walls and like make cool animated illustrations I'm, and stuff I'm like that. I'm really so looking excited. forward to this game. Yeah, like this, just the art style alone. I feel like I'm gonna be almost teary-eyed playing it just with how beautiful the aesthetics are between what you're watching and the sounds and the music i'm i'm pumped for this the sound of music i, mean, I, think, I think we all agreed it was our, one of our top most anticipated games yes yeah it's 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 up there in the game so that just makes it even better. yeah yeah even better but um Give i'm them curious my to money. see what they do with the creation tools in this game and i'm also curious to see like is it going to get like pushed away when dreams comes out like mm. is it going to get as much because they're coming out the same year they're not the same game but like they're both they have creation ish is i feel like dreams aspects to them a while to get going i think if people are going to jump in and be like this is amazing but then like i don't think it's for the well i, mean, I, I think, say that now but i don't think it's for the normal game i think it's casual. gonna be i think it's gonna be something very two two very different games in my like this is yeah. concrete genie we're talking about like um I would equate it to like it's going to be like a braid style kind of story. Yeah. Where you you explore and there's really story driven stuff and yeah, the aesthetics are all like really what kind of powers the game, but Dreams is really going to be the game that's like well, we'll talk about it in a minute. We'll talk about Dreams in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Uh the game that was supposed to come out for the Xbox One X, but it didn't cuz it got delayed. Crackdown 3 with Terry Crews. It's coming out. <laughs> it's, I mean, I it, has it's coming out. I mean, it has to. It has to. How many times been delayed this time? Like five times? Uh, Four times? Four? That's Four insane. Times. That's insane. They're never going to finish it. Yeah. It's just going to be a limit for the next look, 10 years. Xbox needs a win right now. It does. Not They don't need a win. They, they've got some good stuff. So we have some stuff to look forward to for Xbox. So this is this is a game. If they're taking their time with it, that's fine. Yeah, it is it's fun. cool. Yeah. And I mean, Crackdown 1 and 2, they were fun enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they were, you know, they're not like huge story driven games by any means. They're just like, I can blow shit up and it's awesome. Blow shit up. Kind of like Just Cause, except different types of destruction. So, I I mean, I kind of feel like, um, it's kind of weird. I feel like the Crackdown series has kind of followed the same pattern as the Borderlands series in a way. Like the first one that people were like, oh, it's, it's not bad. It's okay. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool game. Kind of fun. And then like, Borderlands 2 came out. I was like, this game is fucking amazing. Right. And kind of the same with Crackdown 1 and 2. Crackdown 1, eh, not not bad. Crackdown 2, oh, much better. And much more explosions. And hopefully Crackdown 3 is something that is like, oh my god. I, I hope it is. Like, cause the what I what I was really disappointed about when they showed off the demos, like they have this Xbox One X coming out. It's the most powerful console in the entire history of the world. And they don't show any of the power of the destructible engine in the game oh, in the yeah. demo that they showed off. And I was like, I, feel like I mean, I like seeing Terry Crews. He's a badass. Right. But I want to see, like, That's the another destructive big environment. That's another big selling point for this. We have yeah. Terry Crews. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so cool. I mean, he's, Dude he's is amazing. Awesome. I listened to an interview with him, actually, and he's got a fascinating story. You should check, like, listen yeah, to his does. story. No, he's like, great. He's, he's come from, like, nothing to, mm-hmm. like, where he's at, and he's super humbling, and that's pretty awesome. So very inspiring. Yeah. If you're watching this, Terry Crews, you're an awesome guy. So thanks, Terry. Go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so something that nobody here is probably excited about, except for me, is uh, the Crew Two. This is a uh, Ubisoft game. The Crew One was not very good. It bombed like horribly hard. Yeah. But this game here, I'm pumped because they oh, took man. the ideas behind steep which i was a fan of back in 2016 and thought it was a fantastic game i haven't played in a while but i I had a blast playing i mean i definitely put like 20 hours in the game and it was like you could jump from like snowboarding to skiing to like like flying through the air with like your uh uh the the wingsuit 
and stuff like that. That stuff was all really cool. They're doing the same concept with this, where you can go from car to boat to air, like seamless transitions mm. and play through this open world experience. So yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> I need some racing game yeah, fans on this. If you sorry, guys are, I'm sorry. I don't guys, give a shit. If you guys are fans of racing games, hit me up. We'll talk and nerd out about racing games. It'll be awesome. He needs somebody. I'm playing. I'm <laughs> he play, really, I've been, really does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, he's um, always talking to us and we're just like, uh. Yeah. I just glaze over <laughs> like a fucking donut. Just. You lost us at racing. Yeah. Yeah. I lost you at car probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You lost us way before that. Done. But. It was done. Um, next game we have is uh, Darksiders 3. is supposed to come out this year. Now, I played like a brief, brief minute of Darksiders 2. Thought it was pretty cool, but it just wasn't my kind of game, which is probably most games that you guys really enjoy. So I, I, I found the Darksiders series. I may be in the minority on this. It's it's a, just a much more boring version of God of War. Yeah, it's got like a fan base, but... <sighs> I I, I I can't I can't I can't get into it. It's yeah. not it's just not my I, it's not my yeah. I have it sitting in my Steam library. I just <laughs> I hear that I hear good things about it. Yeah. I, I want to jump into it, but at this point I feel like it's just outdated. Yeah. So I'll wait for this and then probably get into it and be like, oh, I gotta play the other one. It tried to like it, to me like it's like like it tried to it really tried to mimic God of War style combat like way too much and I just uh, Yeah. You did it did not succeed. All right, next game we got Days Gone. Yes. This, this is, is my most this anticipated. This is your game. This is yeah. my most anticipated for the year. So it's it's interesting because I was, I've was i been hearing a lot of people compare this game to um, The Last of Us in a way. Um, I haven't played The Last of Us, obviously, so like I don't know. I don't know where the you connections are, but do you think, like, how do you f- feel this game compares to The Last of Us? <sighs> It compares in the fact that it's obviously a like the threat, I a, guess. The, the post-apocalyptic, the zombie-like creatures. Even though this one is, it looks more viral, viral-based rather than um, fungus-based, which was from The Last of Us. So, some similarities, yes. But I'm still looking very much forward to to this. This one looks much, much less based on the stealth. Uh, portion of what Last of Us was, how it was just like just you and you've got to sneak past these things or take them out one by one, you know, however you want to look at it. While this one's more like we're doing some action, you're going to get your gun and you're going to just nail the shit out of thousands of these, whatever they are. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. Heck yeah. This game would be better if they had a Left for Dead type aspect where you and your friends could like run through a, a level together or if you just like a horde mode where you just like Defend, <laughs> defend or die. D- d- oh, yeah, yeah. Fend off wave after wave. It'd be awesome. It'd be super awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, I'm. I'm pretty certain it's going to come out this year. I mean, there's there's some thought that maybe it won't, but I mean, I feel like we've seen enough of it. We've seen gameplay now that it's it's going to come out sometime. Oh, yeah. Um, I am going to bet fall release. Probably October. Yeah, I could see this being like an o- October release. Yeah. So we'll see. Next one. Spring 2018, as they've stated in the video from PSX and the Game Awards and all that, Detroit Become Human. This much anticipated, exciting game for me, actually, yeah. of artificial intelligence taking over the world and how we deal with them, the I- morals that fall into play. I mean, I'm with you. I think it's, I, I, I can't wait to play it, but I, I hope it's everything we think it is. Yeah. And not anything we don't want it to be. Yeah. I hope it doesn't fall short somewhere. It's very vague, but yeah. Yeah. Like it could be like too linear. It, it, and it could be like too open. It's world. looking like know. it's good. Like, do we want it to like tote that line of walking simulator? Right. Versus like actual game where we get to have a lot of real gameplay and decisions and, you know, walking around of, what do we think is going to be like the best course of action kind of stuff? Or does our choices mean nothing like they did in heavy rain? Ugh. There you go. I hope one story affects the other. Cause it seems like it's going to be, I don't know, like episode based, where it's like, here's this character. Now here's this character. Now back to the other character type thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not that. sure how they're yeah. going to, they're like, going to play this that. Story, here's this story. And here's this story. It sounds like it's going to be like different. Like it's going to be like a, cohesive story but you're gonna interact with different ones at different times like right. one part you'll 
be this person, but I wonder if they'll like cross paths and they'll have some kind of like, I feel like they would. I don't know. I'm looking forward to following switch. Connor Reeves the whole time. I call him Connor Reeves because he very much looks and sounds like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. My name's Connor. Whoa. He liked us on Twitter, which is really cool. I like which is posts, amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. So fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. But I I'm pretty pumped about this game. I think it'll be I think it'll be a fun game to like stream or something too. I the bitch yeah. of like to get just to get our reactions you know? from yeah. like yeah. shit that happens, yeah. Yeah. Have people man. vote like what yeah. do we do? No, man. Vote. I mean cuz yeah. they had that when they were at uh, what was it? A PSX I think where they were showing it and people were like yelling in the audience like talking about like, oh no, do this, do well, that. They, people yeah. were like desperate for him to pick up that fish on the floor. Oh like, my god! Pick up yeah. the fish. <laughs> it was it was pretty crazy. Okay. But the, it the fell fish, out man. of the aquarium and it was like just uh, flopping on the ground. And people were like, pick up the fish. Oh, like a lot of animal rights people's in the uh, yeah, and like you know he picks it up and he puts it in like the tank portion of it again. But it's like it's, it's funny because like out. you know he's he's trying to like talk and show off the gameplay elements and everything else. People <laughs> like get the fish. Dang man. <laughs> angry over here you're like they were like, great. i know they're just, just like nuts my mentality yeah right for fish um Woo. speaking of uh so so the the anger that you have bent up inside yeah. is best probably served in a game like dragon ball fighters oh man it's coming out soon i'm gonna I go to power level 9000 february no it's coming out january of this month yes oh are you shitting me yeah i'm so excited oh my gosh that's my power up oh. face. People are like so it's pumped about this game. Face. Like apparently this <laughs> is like both equally. everything everybody's ever wanted in like I, a Dragon Ball Fighter game. I mean, it doesn't have like the flying and stuff like they had in like Xenoverse, but people didn't like that from what I've heard. This and I didn't like it when I played it. It's injustice for Dragon Ball Z. Right. Except not, not with the weird story. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can you really make a Dragon Ball Z fighter game though? Like I feel like part of it needs to be like the destructible elements where you plow a guy through 17 mountains and then pummel him with energy blast and then like wait an episode for the smoke to clear to see that he's like you have no idea my power level uh, uh, back at part of this <laughs> apparently yeah the emperor palpatine is, yeah, you have no idea this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's treason then Ugh. so much stuff yeah. but it's gonna be fun it should be fun out this year. I, I can't excited. believe there's games coming out already. They're it, like exciting. It's supposed to come out on the Switch, but it hasn't been announced yet, and I'm so upset. So I'm probably going to buy oh, two man. games because it's only going to come out for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And then when it comes out for the Switch, I'm going to get it for You'll the buy it then as well. Yeah. Like Damn, meet, up, Switch. meet up at a brewery Damn, and just you fighting each other in our Switches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be amazing. Um, so we were talking about this game earlier, but yep. uh, Dreams. It's coming this dreams, year. They've announced officially it'll dreams, be here. Dreams, 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 dreams. Anyways. That was, that was beautiful. I love that. You hear those harmonies? It was those were amazing. Lovely. You can make those harmonies in dreams. He just gets up and you, you can do that in dreams. Like, you uh, can, yeah. You whatever dreams you want. With basically the little big planet of like, yeah, let's everything. Say, the dreamscape <laughs> that psychologists can't even like nail yeah. down what shit means. So. I was I was listening to people talk about this game and the creation tools within it and how you build it. And I remember like back in say five years ago or whatever, like I was working on Crisis brought out a Cry Engine editor where you could like build your own maps in in the in the world and you could like drop into it right there. So you're like building this map and then you just press a button and like drops you into the world inside the editor. And it was so cool, but there were so many like detailed pieces to this. And they claim with this game that you can literally create whole games. You can make animations. You can make trigger actions that activate like a torch as you walk past it and all this stuff. And I'm like, how are they going to dole this down to the point where it's easy to use on a controller? Like, I just, and I can't enough dude, to make some really cool stuff. But yeah. I mean, look at this. Look at some of the levels people made on Little Big Planet. I never played it. Look at some of the levels that people made on Little Big Planet. I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I have it. I, I played it a little bit. Yeah, I got. Uh, I got I look yeah. at the levels that they made on Little Big Planet. <laughs> oh, yes, people watching, look at the levels because they're they're apparently pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think people. There's definitely gonna be people out there that. I mean, when I was playing, uh, uh, what was it, Planet Coaster? Like that's that's some crazy shit that people like built in that world. Right. And I mean, I saw like a Tron roller coaster that was just like mind blowingly and crazy. And if they can do that with that, like I I'm don't I can't imagine. But I'm just thinking like it's on a controller. Like you have like ten buttons that 
I mean, there's going to be a lot of those little wheels, you know, where you can like select things and rotate around and like pick stuff out. But I don't know. I've heard it's really good and intuitive and I can't wait. So it's either going to define a generation or be lost in the wind. Yeah. So like this is kind of game that, you know, you guys are all excited about these like Dark Soulsy games and stuff like that. I get excited about this. Like this is what I get excited about about this. Like I won't create, I won't create shit, but I will definitely be a curator because I heard they're going to like have curators that will be like, they're going to like be, you're going to get rewarded and achievements for instead of being a creator of stuff you curate and you've helped find and like build lists and like things of good stuff out there to find. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I find that fascinating that they're like giving that as a thing. That's cool. Yeah. So were, there, were there huge limitations for little, big, little big. Blip? Yeah. Okay. I mean, people made some amazing shit, but yeah, right. there was, I mean, there was limitations. Of course there were. Yeah. Um, moving on yeah. because we got a lot more to go through here. Um, we have a game called Extinction. Have you guys seen stuff about this? Sounds familiar. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no. Well, Extinction's coming out. And that's gonna be really cool. So let's move on to the next okay. one. Um, <laughs> Extinction. Look it up. We we don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Extinction is this awesome game where you play stuff in Extinction. That's great. Yeah, it's really that's great. Nice yeah. Uh, Far Cry Five. Let's talk about that for a minute. Far Cry 5, I think everybody knows all about Far Cry 5. Yeah, everyone's talking about Far Cry 5 right now. Are and, they? Well, I, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen it flare up again. I've also about, heard people say the story is going to be shit. Honestly, I, I thought it was dead. No, <laughs> it's, it's, so it's, no it's been kind of like popping up in my news feed again on Twitter. Okay. And about how like people are just saying that like the story is just absolute garbage. Man, you, what what can you expect? Ubisoft taking a great idea and just making a meh. That seems to be a very big trend right now. Just meh everywhere. But I we mean, give it a, you can a, you a can have a lot of fun like co oping and like blowing shit up with your friends and fighting. You know, if I want to do rebels. that, I'll play fucking Crackdown three. That's true. But can you play with your friends? Is that co op? Was that co op? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. You're good. Yeah, why, why, why go to play a mediocre Far Cry Five when I could go play a great spectacle like Crackdown Three? Yeah, I I'm know, sorry, man. like the, I, I, or anything else. I, the just the premise alone for Far Cry Five, I'm like, man, that sounds so cool. But looking good on paper and actual execution is not Ubisoft's strength. Yeah, that's they fair. are just not good at that. Yeah, I mean, look at what For Honor. At least Rainbow Six Siege is still doing really well. Like people Origins are loving that game, and Origins is good. Origins. Um, and Mario versus Rabbids okay. was they good as few, well. Bag, that's it. So there we go. That's a couple. And the Crew Two obviously is gonna be awesome. Oh, South Park. South Park was Ubisoft. Yeah, it was good. That was awesome. It's also because Trey Parker and Matt Stone were like, we're making the this mans, game. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, we're going to jump down to uh, God of War, talk about this game a little bit, because I know some people are excited. It better come out. I mean, I don't really care about it. It's, it's whatever, but I'm just kidding. Can you put two kidding. one out there for me? <laughs> yeah, so God of War. This is... this is uh, what, what more is there to say? Um, we've talked at length about this game on numerous podcasts. You wrote an article about it. I wrote an article about it. Um, it I mean... At this point, we're just going to have to wait to see some more gameplay, um, see some more trailers for it, and see what the hell is okay, up I, I with... I don't want to see any more. Just release it. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I mean, like, I mean I'm, I'm stoked because we're talking about one of my favorite game franchises now being shoved into literally like the heritage of my family. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Vikings. Sounds painful. It's going to be awesome. I'm trying to make a joke. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> you failed miserably. Failed horribly. You failed miserably. Um, I do want to talk about one of these games real quick, Hunt Showdown, because this is... Okay. Have you guys seen this? No. So this is a Crytek game. They're oh they're they're God. building a new Crytek game, and it's like I thought they died. Battle Royale, basically. Oh, man. Kind of Battle Royale, but like small scale, and you are... Um, I think it's a little bit like uh, Left 4 Dead ish too, but basically there's like hunters and they it has like the battle royale esque feel to it. And let me pull up the description. I'll, I'll read it to you here because it's the way they describe it is way better than the way I describe it. So there's obviously. zombies. 
Um, yeah, there's some weird stuff to it. Okay. Um, okay. I'm interested. Yeah. I had it here and then I lost it. Where the hell did it go? You hunt together. So it's like you're playing with oh. people. It's a competitive first person oh. PVE bounty. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know what this is. Yeah. yeah. This look. This look very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. It's like kind of a um, steampunk western with like. I kind of want to say Bloodborne is like maybe the closest thing. Yeah. But aesthetically, those kind of monsters. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah. Aesthetically, but like set in the you know set in the south or the southwest or something. Yeah, it's a it's a first person PvP bounty hunting game with heavy PV elements from the makers of Crisis. So it's like it is a battle royale esque thing, but there's also other things in the world that can be a threat to you. We're trying so hard to like just throw more genres into the battle royale. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is a battle royale RP JRPG uh, base building. Uh, uh, what, what, what else? A uh, car trading game. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that happens, it'd be hilarious. I, I did say last year, I was like, there's going to be at least five Battle Royale games by the end of 2018. There's already three because we have Fortnite, we have Battlegrounds, and then Paladins just announced a Battlegrounds mode. They literally called it Paladins Battlegrounds, <laughs> and it's a Battle Royale mode. And then we got this right. game, so that's four. All right. That's like Battle Royale. I'm already S. exhausted and annoyed. I, yeah, Let's move on. Like, not even... Yeah, Why? it looks cool though. Looks awesome. Looks great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah. So let's talk about this for a second. Yes. This is the game that's got like the combat system that blows people's minds and every bit of the word. And there's like a cult following to this game that is insane. Like they just put stuff out there and then people go nuts. Like I was listening to really? somebody the other day talking about their media outlet and they were like, oh, I haven't heard about Kingdom Come in a while, but maybe we'll like have these guys on just to see like, hey, where's your game at? And they did a stream and they had like 300,000 people tune in or something like that or watch the video. Wow. Just for that thing. And they were like, I didn't think anybody was still paying attention to this game, but apparently it's got some so of the most got, intense combat systems. We got the closed beta because you would purchase, you get the closed beta. And yeah. Um, the world's great. Um, combat, I can't say I enjoyed it that much. Wait, it's very difficult. How did I not play this? I don't know. You just never played it. Did you ever give it to me? Yeah. I want to play it. Yeah, I sent you this stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of fell out of it. I, I enjoyed the world. It's super realistic. Like, when it gets nighttime, it is dark. Like, you just want to go into a tavern and sit and wait for morning because you can't really see unless you have a lantern, which I don't know where you get a lantern at, but the, the little... Place I played, I ran around on my horse. I looked for stuff. The quest seemed pretty interesting. It actually makes you like one of the quests is like you got to go find this bandit camp to find this guy. Yeah, to get some information. Um, so I'm excited to see where the characters go and where the story goes. But um, I think it's a little too realistic in my book. Yeah, it's not you, for you. You need, you need some game aspect in there where it just gives you. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe if I get into it more, uh, I'll really start to. Enjoy oh, it. I like I like uh, a staunch bit of realism. Yeah, it's very staunchy. That's, yeah. Okay. Good. It yeah. looks awesome. I mean, I think that'd be cool. It's an RPG though, not my cup of tea, but it looks fun. <laughs> um, Kingdom Hearts three. Finally, just fucking put the game out. Let's. Mo okay, next. Yes. <laughs> just put the fucking game out. Toy Story. That's that's all you gotta say. It's gonna be it awesome. looks pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. No, man. Did you get? Have you guys? Were you guys big into Kingdom Hearts at all? No. Did you um, play I it? played the first one. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. it was, I mean, it I had a so great much time. Fun. I played it. I think I played it twice, which is one of the few games I've actually played through like twice. And then the that's second impressive. one, I, the second one, I started playing, but then I started like getting out of the whole RPG, like the, not RPG, but that that style of game. But I'm really pumped for this one because I just want to revisit that world and like experience those characters again. Um, so I'm looking forward point, to it. We just kind of got to run down these. There's so much here to talk about. I <laughs> there is. There's I a just, huge list. So oh. Kirby Star Allies coming out. So that's another Kirby game. Another Kirby Something game. Something to look forward to. We got yeah. that. It looks cool. Fun stuff. Uh, Marvel's Spider-Man. We yes. do got to stop on this for a second. I'm, I'm down. Because Spider-Man. I want to see more web use environmental stuff. like Less I'll QTE, more swingy. 
What? Let's well, quick, quick time events. Oh, more swing there's a lot of quick time events in that. There was a lot in the trailer. A lot of quick time events. Which, <clears throat> whatever, quick time events. I'm I'm used to them by now. But I would like to see more gameplay stuff of like you know I'm gonna be I'm putting webs over here and I'm gonna make a trap from that web over here and I'm gonna web this guy and hit him with this guy and. I'm you're, gonna, you're gonna hit me with Austin? Yeah. You're like hit us? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're insane. No. Insane. Oh my goodness. That's what Spider-Man so does. My web he webs a guy. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna web him, and I'm gonna web him, and I'm gonna swing him together, and they're gonna so knock just, heads. That reminds me, you know, it'd be a great game: Battle Royale, Spider-Man. <laughs> Everybody's a Spider-Man. <laughs> Swings web. <laughs> just just no, I'm out. Anybody. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Though. I just saw the uh, uh, Homecoming. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah! To have that kind of suit with all those options, would yeah, be pretty awesome. In this Amazing. Game. So, I hope, hope that's what happened. Mega Man Eleven. Guys, Stoked. We got Mega Man. We got a Mega back. Man again. I've never man. played a Mega Man, and I, 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 I they have the that. collection coming out. So, like, I want to, I want to jump into good. and try this game to experience what it's like. And I was, I've, I've been reading the Game Informer article. They had the cover story in December of Mega Man Eleven. I'm like, man, this game looks pretty interesting. So it's be cool. Oh, I, I hear never some good played stuff. a Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Yeah, you excited? Yeah. Of so. course I'm excited. I've played Mega Man games before. Oh, have you? Oh, that's good. Good for you. I'm glad. Proud of you. <laughs> He's proud. Move on. What's next? Uh, <laughs> next one, Metro Exodus. Yeah. This is a Metro follow-up game. I don't know if it, the story like continues onward yes, from the does. second one. Does it? Okay, cool. They, yeah, I saw. Uh, I was I've been following this game on Twitter a bit, and they like you know they're talking about how the story is going to be a continuation from the first. I didn't play the first one, but yeah, it's gorgeous um, though. Yeah, it's, it, but yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful yeah. game. It's got a great. I mean, it's got a pretty big cult following. It's kind of like um uh, like a Wolfenstein kind of cult following. People yeah. who are just like, man, Metro, get that shit. I would say, yeah, yeah, great world. The, yeah. the way they built that. I mean, it was a book, I believe, and they just yeah. turned, turned, turned to a game. I did not know one that. Of the weird, like, one of the weird transitions where you, instead of going from book to movie or book to TV show, they're like, let's just make a game. I wouldn't be surprised if this turned to a movie at some point. So, three weeks from now, roughly, Oof. probably two weeks by the time you listen Oof. to this podcast, Monster Hunter World be will be here. I am going to use the big sword axe combo trick weapon thing. I think you could yes. flick it out. And, yeah. 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 I think that's what I'll use. Now, question consoles, where are we getting this at? Um, Please say PS4. Probably, Otherwise, probably. I'm going to grab my spider web and <laughs> throw you against this one and do the just stop. Do the thing. Yeah. Stop. You get an Xbox. I'll probably be getting on both. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because I, I want to, I, I want us to like play. I mean, it's that good that we like well, I have, I have lots of play. friends on both sides who I'm going to want to play with. So right. yeah, I'm going to get it on both. That's cool. That's good. Thank you. You're very appreciate common. it. Oh yeah, but I, it's not so much accommodating as it's like I want to be able like if some friends are like no we're not playing tonight. Awesome PS4 friends y'all <laughs> up okay sweet let's get in this. I lo- I love the uh, complex or the diversity in how you approach each um, monster. And mm-hmm. stuff like that. I was reading about different types of uh, um, types of monsters that are out there, and it reminds me a little bit of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, except like way, way more intense of like attacking these guys. And yeah, but like the fact that like you really need your a entire lot team to work scale. hard. Yeah. So imagine Is there that story with this usually. There's something, yeah, yeah, some kind. Yeah, of the monster kinda, hunter usually yeah. has something, I mean, but they've got a little something in there. I mean, it's, it's not like. It's like a Final Fantasy, like epic style story of like you know three acts, and it's gonna be huge. It's there's monsters out there, man. Kill them. It's gonna be so weird that. though because I appreciate that. We um, I mean, it. This is such a departure from the other ones. I mean, one, this is gonna be on a non Nintendo console, so that's gonna be interesting. And it's like open world, but it's not fully open world because there's like areas that yeah, you can yeah. go to yeah. and stuff like that. Some that, areas that you do not want to go to. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, it's coming out in January, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is the follow-up to Ori and the Blind Forest. Um, that original game was amazingly gorgeous. What a what a amazing kind of like unique gameplay with yeah. a unique art style and just told just a, a very heartfelt story. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to the second one. Oh, heck yeah. It's going to be really good. So yeah. yeah. And I'm oh, sure it's going to be difficult because the first one was actually kind of difficult. Yeah. Yeah. 
But it's, well, it's it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's not terrible, but like for me, like <laughs> there's there's some challenging parts to it. But <laughs> for yeah, me, it was hard. Just how it is. <laughs> right. um, so this is something that I know that uh, nobody at this table is probably excited about. Project Octopath Traveler, Octopath <laughs> Traveler. I Somebody say, may be excited, actually. Most anticipated games. It's probably his mm, most yes. anticipated. My, this is going to be probably my most anticipated Switch title of um, of 2018. I hope it comes out this year because we don't know if it's coming out this year. Uh, but God, I, I hope, hope it does. It does. And I, will sink, the name, I will but. sink too many hours into it. Not like It's not like, how many did you put into it? Too many. Too many. I'll say the number and someone's going, that's too many hours. And I'm going to go, <laughs> oh, it's way too many. Get it, you gotta go for 150. That easy. Easy. 200, 200. I will probably break 200 to 250 hours into this game. I mean, at, at, that with as like, many with as many story yeah, arcs as it say, has. Like, that's just probably the normal time limit. <laughs> yeah. 200 hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you have a month to dedicate? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's awesome. Next is Brett's most anticipated. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm. Holy shit. It's coming out. Ew, ew, ew. And Squaw, it better wah. just come out. And I just want it now. Watch it be a 2019 oh, title. Gosh. Oh, it gosh. Easily, don't say that. Be that. I, don't, I don't think they will. I think I'm pretty certain. What do you think? November? Uh, Yeah. Well, I mean, because no, actually, originally I was saying uh, springtime. Like I, I, I could I would think May. I'm looking around May, May or June. Summertime. That sounds about because right. you're not going to hit. That'd like, be a good summer blockbuster to yeah, play. Yeah, I mean, like for them, like they want it. They want the attention. Yeah, probably. I would think they want all eyes. Yeah. on RD two. If they bring it out around that time, I think that'd be good. Good yeah. release time. And like it's a summer slog that we've talked about in the past. This would not be a yeah, summer slog anymore. Be like, <laughs> we would not shit. care that there are no games coming out in the summer as long as we can just be like just continuously play RDR yeah. two. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm really curious to see what the online component is going to be too, because GTA Online has literally like given Huge them following. so much money. Huge following, and they, I'm sure they're going to have something like that in here. And I was hoping the original. Well, had it's like that, you know, with but it didn't have well, what I wanted. The Grand Theft Auto Online, you know, it was all about the heists and stuff and getting billions of dollars. Yeah. Like I'm wondering what you're going to have with Red Dead Two, like bank robberies. And stealing trains. Okay, so still a heist, still, but see, that's what heist. I was thinking. Is like, are we doing like stagecoach robberies? Are we doing okay. like that'd be cool? I think that'd be cool. Ford attacks stuff. Yeah, yeah, because they had that in like Cash. multiplayer, but like it wasn't bounties. Yeah, it wasn't as much open worldy as I wanted it to be. So one of the it's I know it's little, but one of the things I loved about Red Dead the first one was the the treasure hunts, the treasure map hunts. Yeah, that was I cool. loved those. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, this game is uh, um another highly anticipated game for me. Sea of Thieves. Yeah, Xbox, big co-op PC. game that people are really looking forward to. Holy shit! I so saw some stills of you playing, and I am very excited. Yeah. yeah. About so the I gra- played not only it about the graphics, but just yep. the aspect of having. We're coming off of PUBG because uh, <laughs> that game just is very physical. <laughs> yeah. When you play it, so it'd be nice to go into something cool like this and chill on the seas. You well, you say that, but <laughs> God dang it. it may not be because like there's some shit that I did not know was in this game. Well, like that's in this a lot, game. and a lot of people are saying like, "Man, you better have like a good like coordinated team yeah. to run your ship because if you don't, it's just gonna be like, all right, drop the sails, the entire ship sinks into the fucking sea if you don't do it right.'" <laughs> So, so here's the here's the scenario. So, like you have you have your ship. You're out in the open water. Is something we can talk about. Yeah, I can talk about this because okay. I played it at E3 too. Oh, okay, so, like okay, I can cool. you know I played with four people or whatever. But like you know you're on you're on a ship and you're like going through the sails or whatever. You got your four four man team, and then say you have like this thing on the like you have some skeletons skelly men over on the skelly island. Skelly men, and they are blocking your stuff. So. You have to put your anchor down to stop your ship from moving, obviously. So you can actually like aim your cannon and not like shoot and have it like go way over there. And yes, it's extremely coordinated. You got to lower the sails. You got to make sure that the anchor goes down. But then you got to, when you anchor down, you got to make sure that the side of your ship is actually facing the direction you want to shoot. Because otherwise, you got to raise the anchor back up again and turn the ship around and hope you can like aim it. So like, 
the frustration of trying to like get that stupid cannon to like go the direction you want it to is so hard. And then so they have That's the ability so to like fucking, do like a one minute. That attention thing. to detail is so yeah. cool. I am so looking forward to yeah. that. And then they announced their progression system not too long ago. So yeah. like they do have it's all gonna be cosmetic stuff, but like there's gonna be different traders that you go to, and as you catch bounty uh, or catch, you know, buried treasure or whatever, you can turn it into different traders people and then they'll give you stuff that you can then use to like customize your character or no loot boxes. Um, as far as I know, no. I can see them having some sort of thing, but I mean, it would all be, it all be cosmetic. I feel like it is all cosmetic. I mean, there's yeah. not much you can really do. It's like, I mean, think game, Overwatch style like, stuff. You know, there isn't like, oh, I got a new. Are pistol. you going to be going for the pink polka dotted pirate hat? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! You know it. It's gonna be awesome. If you're captain, I'm jumping ship. Yeah. That's cool. But we can play together, <laughs> PC and Xbox. That is so really awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's going to be fun. All um, right, what's next? Next up, we got... Uh, Shaw, oh, yes! This game. I am, making, the I am making you play this game. So I hear it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Like, because they, like... Oh, yeah, hell, well, I mean, PlayStation 2, it was but, amazing. But, I mean, like, I've... I've like, people that have, like, played we it and stuff say it's, like, one of the Shadow, best... Oh, looking, yeah, yeah, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. Like, I've heard it's, like, one of the best-looking games... Yeah, they've seen. In Has it been an for, it's like a date? Yeah. Is there a date? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, seems like I a, have to get a, a region TV before I play. Wait, this maybe game. there is one. Like, there's a, most of these on this list. I have to have a 4K TV. Well, that's just me. I thought you had I don't one. have to, but I oh, want, you don't have one yet. I that's want right. One. That's funny. Um, no. So I was listening to an interview with the uh, people that are doing this remake, and uh, man, the attention to detail that they good. go into this good. is like unheard of so perfect and it's gonna be so good did you say the gameplay was gonna be the same ish a uh, gameplay yeah. gonna like, stay the same and well they, yeah but like they say that it, the camera issues still exist oh, and stuff like that yeah like, so, yeah. Uh, yeah i'm sure that that's still gonna be probably an issue where you're like trying to climb the freaking thing and you're all you can see is the top of its head and you're like i don't know where i am on its body so i <laughs> hope i'm climbing in the right direction so how yeah. many like colossuses are there Colossi. 16? Colossi. Okay. 16, I think. All right. Something to that effect? And yeah, like I didn't realize ones, it was ones. like a kind of boss, like battle. A boss battle thing. Yeah. I had no idea when I first heard about boss it. Boss battles. Yeah. Is it co-op? That'd be sweet. It's not, but it'd be cool. No. Yeah. It's just the whole story is about component. you yourself saving your love, and you have to kill Colossus to save her. Okay. Awesome. So With a, the an amazingly just jaw-dropping twist ending. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Question, how is the music? Is there a lot of music? Like the mu- no, the music, music. The, every every single Colossus has its own, like, themed music, and, man, they just match perfectly. Like, this sort of almost, it's kind of Lord of the Rings-inspired music as you're climbing, and you hear these these this trumpet fanfare and this just, am- just amazing scores of music as you're, like, climbing and you're stabbing, and you're, it's so intense. It's, yeah, it's great. Shenmue 3. That's another one. I don't know much eh. about Shenmue, but I know that there's a huge yeah. following big, behind Big, Shenmue, huge cult following Shenmue. behind Shenmue 3. And yep. if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the game that, like, was announced like a long time ago and was kickstarted originally, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah and then yeah. now it's, like, come, and people were kind of upset with the fact that then they, like got money for it on top of the Kickstarter money. Yeah. But that they actually got like a big and it's also taking forever to come out chunk. basically. So yeah. But yeah. it sounds it sounds cool. Yeah. And I appreciate it for what it is. Um Skull and Bones. Next to Skull and Bones. Ubisoft. This is uh people when this first came out, they were like, oh it's a Sea of Thieves killer. But it's not. It's different. It's like this is basically like co op battleships. And stuff. So you're yeah, out just, ship, like, yeah. just ship to ship battles. Yeah. It's like think dreadnought. Like dreadnought when we talked about that, that. Yeah. It's like dreadnought but with that. ships. So now if you can actually jump on the ships, I haven't watched a trailer. If you could just do actual hand to hand combat as I well. I don't know if you can do that or not. I'm not holding my breath for Ubisoft to go that far. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. either. I'm just saying. Yeah. They'll pull out the ideal world, that would be great. Yeah. You'll you'll jump over there and you'll have like your four honor combat system where you're fighting with your sword battles and stuff like that, your cutlasses and yeah. Doing your your swings and all that. No, I think it's gonna be focused on ships, like that's the thing. But I don't know how. Like, I mean, that's cool, but 
is it cool long term? Like, what are you going to do to keep me interested? Yeah. I don't want just a progression system in there that's like, oh, make your ship bigger and better and faster and stronger. But same thing like Dreadnought that they've basically killed. They they sunk their ship. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they have a bunch of uh, progressions locked basically behind pay to play. Oh, at yeah. At this point. Oh, really? Yeah. It just takes so long to progress. Did it ever actually game. release? It's, I know. Okay. That's I think funny. it's open beta for uh, PlayStation 4. Eternity. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, next game we have is State of Decay 2. That is... A lot of anticipation behind this one. Huge Xbox game. Yep. You know, one of the few huge Xbox games. But it's a huge one. And I had a misinterpretation of what State of Decay actually was when it first came out. But now I understand it better. And it's basically co-op, survival, you know, zombie. Survive game. zombies. Yeah. It actually looks a lot of fun. I didn't play yeah. the first one. The first one looked kind of hokey to me. But this one actually looks cool. Like you actually build your fort up. I'm, I'm assuming it's a massive Fort, world. supplies, everything. Yeah. yeah. Huge world. Go get your shit. Don't get bit. And then introducing cool. State of Decay 2. Battle Royale coming 2019. Man, I wouldn't put it past anybody at this point. Oh. Tasty Battle Royale. It's probably going to be the year of Battle Royale, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario um, Kart Switch Battle Royale. Oh, <laughs> that could work, actually. That'd be interesting. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's 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 going to be a good game, I hope. And, you know, hey, more power to them. Uh, last few games we have here. We have... System Shock is being remade. That's coming back. I'm not going to go into much about that, but System Shock was a way old game. Well, you want to talk about it? It was a huge game. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Did you play it? No, I never did. Ken Levine did that here. game, though. So that was cool. Yeah, I, but, I played the demo of it. Or, I didn't play the Shock games until huge, Bioshock. Huge game back in the day. Hedge. No. Hedge. I think I think there was some sort of like beta or something out there for a game that was very similar to System Shock. Oh, I played a demo for like the actual game, which both were cool, whichever it was, but it was System Shock related to some degree. Right. Um, next one we have is a Telltale's Walking Dead final season. Not much to talk about on this, but it's just it's the final I'm chapter. Crazy, in the they're Walking still Dead. continuing this on, yeah. and I'm I glad they're. In a I'm while. glad they finally have put a, a pin in this. To it, and yeah, to finishing it. it out. Yeah. So. Um, Definitely one of the best Telltale games that they've. I mean, I think Walking Dead is probably one other than most Tales popular. The, the one that like really kind of paved the way for yeah. kind of bringing back the point and click adventure game. Yeah, everything else like Batman was okay. Yeah, I mean they're 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 not as good as they used to be, but Tales from the Borderlands was go great. And this. Oh yeah, that was amazing. That was so good. I loved that a lot. Um, but hopefully they fix the uh, the the systems in this a little bit and make it better. Cause I know they've been working on that, but it's probably still click a button and move around a little bit. So it's knows? fine. It does what it needs to. Yeah. So this next one, this is a, a switch game. Travis, Travis strikes, strikes again. again. No more heroes. Um, now I don't know a whole lot about this one, but I know when they announced it, like people lost their mind because I guess this Travis character is like huge. And Travis Touchdown. Yeah, Travis Touchdown. The weirdest name. I mean, it sounds like something like from Duke Nukem or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, like just some dra- jacked up adrenaline super name that was given to the guy. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, so Switch game. It's coming out this year and uh it's coming back. It'll Travis be here. Touchdown. Here it's it got comes. some cool, cool uh Cool lightsaber? animation, stuff like that. What? <laughs> it looks like that, doesn't <laughs> it? Does it have a but it's got, but well, no, but it has like a it's pole a that goes saber. a little bit and like holds the light in place. So it's not like yeah. a full on like. So it's a janky yeah. lightsaber. It's weird. It's a lightning saber. It has all kinds of magical powers. It's awesome. So uh, next game we have is going to be Vampire. Vampire. Have y'all heard about this? Y'all been yeah. About this? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Looks yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now the game mechanics of it behind it. I'm trying to think. This 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 development team, they did another game that's totally not like a di- completely different game. Well, do you remember what it was? Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Because they the game it's really popular and then they like completely flipped around. Oh no, duh. This is um don't nod, I think, if I remember correctly. Don't nod? Yeah, this is a um 
Life is Strange developers. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I, I remember it was like so, this is so out out there for them. But yeah, this is the Don't, Don't Not Entertainment, the guys that did Life is Strange, the original. And uh, this wow, is their new nice. game that they're doing. And um, yeah, like... The whole like the whole mechanics of, you know, finding your prey, hunting them down kind of thing, not yeah. getting caught. I mean, it's stealthy vampire stuff. This could be a really cool vampire game. I'm I'm just excited. It's been a while since I had a good game. vampire yeah, game. I mean, there's, there are many out there that I don't me, remember the last one. Oh man, I think mine was uh, like the last one I played. Was, <laughs> no, no. What was that? Uh, it was the Soul Reaver series. Soul Reaver. Yeah, Is that the one with the chick. No, you know what that's Blood about? Rain, and okay, that was Blood awful. Rain. Okay, yeah. I thought that one was good. Oh, wait, no. Because they made a movie out of that, too, didn't they? Also awful. Yeah, that's, I heard the movie game. was really bad. Why yeah. would you do that? I mean, it's Hollywood. Video game stuff. movies, man. It's, like it's Hollywood. Crazy. It makes no sense. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're looking forward to this. All right, we're on the last three here. We're going to talk about the next one being Warhammer Vermintide 2. So stoked. It's coming. Warhammer Vermintide Killing more was rats. awesome. No, Left for Dead no more rats. game. No more rats? No, they're switching it up to the, uh, I believe it's... Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. Let me let me look it up. I want rats. I like rats. Wait, it's funny because that was like the free game that was um uh that was the free game that came out on the Xbox was the Warhammer Vermintide. Yeah. And it got like thousands of downloads day one because people were looking so forward to playing this again and yeah. it was free. Oh, it's the chaos, the chaos guys. It's always against chaos. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'm not all the way. You need to get your Warhammer stuff. lore figured out, bro. Yeah. Oh, they're big dudes. Look no, at dude, that. it's like, it's probably, so you're, you're going to be fighting some chaos right? demons. Yeah, the orcs. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought. Orcs. <coughs> Orcs. I'm really looking forward to killing orcs. They use teeth as their currency. Really? Orcs? Yeah. Yeah. They oh. use what? Teeth. Oh, that's cool. They take other orc teeth and that's their currency. That's messed up. It's awesome. That's super messed up. No, yeah, it's awesome. So, Left 4 Dead like game. Left 4 Dead like game, man. Vermin it's going to be awesome. 2 coming out soon. Still have rats, but they're adding new enemies. Yeah, as well. awesome. So, I am super pumped. Yeah. There's a lot of cool systems it looks it's like they're fun. adding into this. So, it's it should be, fun, be good. man. Um, and then in the next one, Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. We oh, did with Yanaman Nordhagen. Yanaman Nordhagen. And uh, this yeah. game's awesome. Yeah, like, he's got well, what sixteen different comic illustrator or illustrators that are he working on this thing. He got a ton of different people to come and do uh, to come and work on this game. Whether it be the people who did some of the music, the people who came in and wrote for the certain stories yeah. that were in the game. Um, I've been following Yanaman really closely on uh, Twitter. Dude is just so cool. Uh, and anytime I see him working on the game, I just my my palate gets wet again. I'm just like, oh my god, I just flakes come out with this. Guy. I just want to play. I, I work with weird people. Yeah. No, I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game. If you yeah. guys haven't seen this game, go watch our interview on YouTube. Um, it's He's a very cool guy. Yeah. He was the programmer for um, uh, Gone Home. Gone Home. So that was now really we're awesome. Dembo games is now he's thing. doing Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. And so it's good. Amazing. I love the soundtrack. Yeah. Um, oh. Last but not least, Yoshi. Oh. We don't know what it's going to be called oh. other than Yoshi something. But it's Yoshi, and that's all we got to say. So, cool. Yoshi. Um, last thing before we wrap up, I want to talk about some surprise predictions of any kind. There's some people saying The Last of Us 2 is going to come out. I don't think it's going to come out this year. Um, I feel like we're probably going to see a Battlefield, even though they haven't announced anything. But their trend oh, is yeah. like Battlefield, Battlefront, Battlefield, Battlefront at this point. But we don't know I what it could be. Back. I, I'm sick of World War One. Yeah, <laughs> I, want to I go back to it. would no. anticipate them trying to do something to try to make up for Star Wars Battlefront Two. They better like what, like just fixing shut down the company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not. They're not gonna <laughs> fix. Shut they're not gonna fix it. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. They're gonna announce Star Wars thirteen thirteen in space. If they did, I Battle would be Royale. <laughs> very concerned because I don't believe they have it in them to make a good game with that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm also still holding by my prediction of Borderlands 3 is coming in uh, November of 2018. They haven't announced it, but I'm going to... You just blew my fucking that. mind. Yeah. So you heard it here God, first, I guys. hope that that's the case. Borderlands 3. If I could, if I can just at least get a trailer. I just want a trailer for yeah. Battle... Uh, Battle for... Or Borderlands <laughs> 3. <laughs> Battlelands. <just> need it. <laughs> 
Um, well, I almost said like Battlefront with Borderlands, so it could either have been Borderfront or Battlelands. Yeah. Both sound like video games that EA would make. Battlelands, Battle Royale. <laughs> so good. So good. Do you guys have any crazy predictions you want to make that of what um, may be coming out or that we haven't talked about? I bet we see a revival from a franchise that we haven't seen in a while. Okay. I like that. That'd be cool. And I have a couple of thoughts to who... No, I think... I, I would bet we have something from Rare pop up again. After Sea of Thieves? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Be interesting. I wonder if they are working on that. Maybe I'm curious to know that. I mean, they have a big team, so they could Huge be working team. on something else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Austin, any predictions now? Cool. I predict I will be broke even more so by the end of the year. There we go. You actually, and I'll first. tell you what I'm actually curious about: the fact that Disney now has um, uh, the essentially the rights to X Men. I'm um, wondering if we're going to have something else pop up from there because of that in the video game world. That could be interesting. Could be. I'd like to do that. I'd like to play some Wolverine. And w- which developers they give it to? Hopefully not EA. <sighs> I think that ship sailed. Disney, give no more games to EA. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically. Anyway, that's going to wrap up our discussion topic this week. If there's a topic you want to hear us talk about, email us at hello at And uh, we might talk about it on the, the podcast. You know, it'd be pretty awesome. Don't forget to check out the video segment of this every Thursday, typically youtube.com slash intergamer. I was going to say dot net, and I was like, no, it's just youtube.com slash intergamer. If you're watching, don't forget to head over to the intergamer.net to catch our full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines from the week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions you care about right here on The Inner Gamer. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful 2018, and we'll be back very soon. Bye-bye. See you guys.